Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. The next feature we have to add to our application is mandatory fields. That means we have to make some fields mandatory. Now if I talk about leave bucket, if I talk about leave calculator, both are not basically, uh, basically will not be used for end user perspective but leave request is for end users. So in that case, we will make some of the fields mandatory. We will also make some fields read only as well because you don't want people to uh, change some of the fields. Like for example, maybe number, number should always be uh, read only. So in that case, I will go to my instance over here. Uh, I am admin right now. That's the reason I'm able to uh, basically edit this number field as well. So if you want to make it uh, read only, you can do that. If I talk about requested by, now this should also be read only. I should not because if I am the user, my name should automatically be populated over here. Um, uh, basically, uh, I should not be able to change this. So I can make make this uh, read only. Uh, then I have to make the start date as mandatory. Start date has to be mandatory. Even, even leave type should be mandatory. And uh, for example, other, other fields like approval, uh, maybe status, these fields should also be, um, uh, I would say read only. Basically, users should not be able to edit this. Now, in order to do that, maybe you can do one thing that maybe you can put it for every user with the help of UI policy because UI policy will work for uh, admins as well. If until you will not put any kind of condition. Uh, or, or maybe you can also create ACLs. But as of now, I'm going to create a UI policy uh, to make these fields uh, mandatory uh, and, and, and some read only as well. So in that case, I will go to the studio and I will close this one. I will click on create application file, go to client development and double click on UI policy. Now, when exactly these fields should be mandatory or they should be read only? They have to be on load of uh, on load of the, the form. So in that case, I will quickly select the table that is leave request and I can put like this, uh, make fields mandatory. That's something I can mention. I'm not putting any kind of condition because I want it for every, every uh, uh, load of the form and I can just click on save. So this UI policy will be saved, but now I have to create UI policy actions. So I will click on new and I will start with leave type. So if I select leave type, it has to be mandatory. So I will make it true. That's it. So I, I'm done with this particular leave type. So I will click on submit. And if I come over here again, I click on new. I have to make requested by as read only. So I can just select over here. I will go to requested by. Now I can't make it mandatory. It has to be just read only. That's it. So I can make it read only true and I can submit this. It's done. I will go over here again. I will click on this new. I think I really like this studio because the, the good part is that you can just create multiple tabs and I will select start date now, which has to be mandatory. So I select start date and it will be mandatory and I can just click on submit. That's it. So we have created the UI policy and if I come over here and I reload it, you will see that requested by is read only. And you can see leave type is mandatory, start date is mandatory, and we also have cash, uh, end date is also mandatory. Now, even even for example, uh, we, 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 that means we have to change this one. I'm not showing anything none over here, but you can just keep it mandatory because people have to select it. Um, start date is mandatory, end date was already mandatory with the help of uh, with the help of client script. I think UI policy that that we made with for this half day. That's what it is mandatory. Uh, then we have these other fields as well. Like you can see, we have this accrued 
taken balance you should definitely make them uh, read only even to uh, duration as well so in that case i will maybe go to my studio and i will come over here and i will just make it like this i will select it i will do a crude and i will make it true it would be read only and I will come over here another UI policy action I will close this one which we created I will come over here and I will go for balance balance should also be read only submit close and I will come over here new and I will have duration read only submit and if I come over here what other field we have it's a uh, balance uh, taken so I will come over here and I will go to taken I will make it true and submit so all these fields basically they become uh, they became uh, read only so if I come over here reload it you will see now the duration is also read only all these fields are read only and this is also read only now you can see as of now this is blank this is empty I don't I don't have any data over here so what I will do basically I will uh, automatically populate the user in this particular field automatically and I really I don't have to change it how can I do that I will just go to the table leave request table and I will populate the default value that's it so if I come over here we have this requested by let me go to requested by over here now what I can do I can just provide the default value the default value I can put like basically it has to be uh, it has to be with the uh, basically it should show automatically the current logged in user so for that I can do Java script and I can do GS dot get user ID and I can just put parenthesis that said and if I save this and I come over here and I reload it absolutely you can see that my name is populating over here automatically so if you want to do this you can just do you can also populate it with the help of client script but if you want to make it just a default value you can you don't have to write client script you, you can just make it as a default value with the help of gs dot get user id now how exactly i'm able to do that for user because that's what service now provides the api for glide system but it might happen that you want to populate some other field on reference field in that case I cannot uh, put the default value but I might but I have to use the maybe script include I have to get the server data then or maybe you can do it with the help of client script as well the populated from the beginning so that's how you can uh, put the uh, default value in this particular field uh, and we are done with the mandatory field so this is how you create a UI policy um, uh, which which can make fields uh, read only uh, visible or mandatory as well and at the same time we also learned that how we can set the default value for any kind of user field as well and similarly you can do for other fields as well as per the requirement you, you get from your customers and clients